just a great person to be around, and I'm, I'm glad I was her son. A family heartbroken tonight after learning what happened to 89-year-old Marcine Heron, who had been missing for a week. This is Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hoff. And I'm Dan Tilkin. Just stunning news today. Police saying it's likely Heron is the woman whose body was mysteriously found in a car during a traffic stop. And we told you about that arrest yesterday. That driver was in court this afternoon after the new revelation. Our Lisa Balick is live with what we've learned about this chain of events. Lisa. Dan, I was in court today, and there were so many family members of Marcin that were there, and they were crying as the man came out who was suspected of killing their loved one faced the charges of murder. Now, 58-year-old Timothy Mackley pleaded not guilty today in court to killing 89-year-old Marcin Herring. Mackley is a convicted sex offender. Herring, a mother, a grandmother, a great-grandmother, lived by herself. She suddenly disappeared from her home last week after she was dropped off by a family member. Herring had worked that day at her longtime volunteer job at a nearby thrift store in Northeast Halsey. And I've learned that Mackley had been shopping at that store while she was working there that day. Police were searching for Mackley's Toyota Camry and pulled him over just two days ago. They found Herring's body in the trunk. I spoke with her son after court today. Yeah, she would talk to anybody and everybody uh, at the church all the time. Uh, just a great person to be around, and I'm, I'm glad I was her son. Mackley lived less than a mile away from Herring, also not far from that thrift store. Now, I've learned there was a vigil for Marcine tonight. That's at 6 p.m. at the Crossroads Church. That was her church. It's at Northeast 102nd. Again, that starts at 6 o'clock tonight. In downtown Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. And his uh, mannerisms in court raising more questions tonight. Thank you, Lisa.